I think probably this setup is arguably the best that I think I've ever seen on anyone else's setups. I've been making YouTube videos about fishing for probably five or six years now, maybe a little bit longer, and there is always something that I miss on a trip where A, you don't get the cameras out, B, the camera goes flat, or C, the camera just isn't at the right angle. You know, you're either wearing a camera and something happens to your left, or you've got cameras facing down the boat and you don't capture everything. But right now, I definitely have the best setup on this boat that I've ever had for capturing the moment when I'm fishing. And I think probably this setup is arguably the best that I think I've ever seen on anyone else's setups. So up the front of the boat, I'm running the 360 GoPro. So the GoPro Max. So what my theory is with this one, it's angled slightly away from the boat. And being 360, you can literally I can either have a video recorded in 360 that you can pan around and look at whatever you want, or with the video itself, you, when I'm editing it, I can pan around to, to pick up whatever I want and just put it into a normal 90 degree video. So while you're fishing, for example, this is looking everywhere. So if I have a cod follow me to the boat or I have a bar money that takes it at my feet or whatever, I get to have both the facials and expressions and the hook set and everything from the angler, plus capture that stuff that is in the water right in front of you all at the same time, you know? So that is pretty cool having this set up at the front. So the front setup here is mounted on a track wedge system and the side port to get this mounted up vertically. Then I have a USB track wedge port on the side here to be able to power and have the GoPro powered the whole time that I'm using and never have to worry about batteries, I don't have to worry about replacing batteries. The GoPro is plugged in, charged and can run all day easy. So you can adjust your angle easily enough. You can adjust forward and reverse and then lock that back in. You can remove the camera off the top easily enough. At the rear of the boat, I'm running standard GoPro 8 but what I do with this camera is I set it up on loop. So this thing basically set and forget. I plug it in, turn it on, have it recording, and I only worry about turning it off when I capture a fish. But from this angle offset off the boat, it basically captures everything of every angler. And regardless of where the person is standing at the back, they're not really going to affect and block the person that's fishing at the front. So you'll be able to capture everything of that person catching a fish, the person in the front catching a fish, the whole lot. And by running it in loop, you just leave it running all day. You're not filling up a memory card. And you come down after you catch a fish, just turn it off. Set all your major angles up with these ones in the bottom to get away where you want. Touch your screen on the GoPro. This little collar here, lift it up. And turn. So now I've got a full angle of that boat. Lock it back in. Good to go. So at the rear of the boat, instead of going with the track wedge, which we would have put in here, I chose to, chose to permanently mount the USB port at the back of the boat just to get it as far back and away from the boat as possible just so I made sure I captured every angle. Get press out. Hug back in. USB mount, permanently mount to the thing. Camera boom 600 all fully adjustable, set it up so that I get the perfect angle on the boat all the time. Well right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, Fishing My Way.